the WWE Network. Now, we had the King of the Ring tonight. We have Renee Young's little 10-minute bit. We have Jerry Springer. We have the podcast. If you could pick any wrestler, past or present, to host a 15-minute segment on the network, you don't get to control what they do, but you know that they're hosting it. Who would it be? Uh, easy. Iron Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're doing TVMA stuff. It's not outside the realm. Okay. I'm going to say Bobby Heenan. True, true. I accept he, I mean, Bobby Heenan well, now because it's not going to work. Yeah. No, but uh, pa- past, past or present. present. Okay. Past or present. Okay, I got you. No, no, they don't completely. Just let him yeah, go. Yeah, because they can just put on the Bobby Heenan show, and I will be okay with that. Exactly, exactly. Riz, you got one? Andre the Giant. <laughs> The ghost of Andre the Giant. Uh, the Bobby. <laughs> I know. The kidding. Andre the Giant show. <laughs> Just interviewing the guy from Game of Thrones. Is every question, <laughs> is every question would you like a peanut? And asking about Mini Driver. Oh, no. Actually, Andre the Giant interviewing Hodor might be my favorite thing. <laughs> uh, guys, check, check out the, the Andre the Giant show on, yes. on YouTube. It's pretty freaking It is effective. pretty tremendous. Uh, what about you, Eamon? Um, if NXT counts as well, uh, I will say Enzo Amore. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Him, about, him and Enzo are good. cast, like, redoing um, whatever Morrison and Miz used to do. Like, that kind of style of oh, the dirt sheet would be amazing. Yeah, the dirt sheet. Wow, that would be, amazing. That would be good. That was, that, was, that was, like, some of the best. That is the, the, the pinnacle of what came from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, awesome. Bobby? Uh, Todd Pettengill. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, um, a- actually, eh. he did do the soup. Did he? Wait, was it him? I yeah. It was him. No, it was somebody that looked like him. I don't know. John Henson. Um, uh, Chad Penn. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anybody. I forgot, <laughs> the, I forgot the original person. Oh, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Yeah. That's who I was thinking of earlier. I think they'll get them since they're doing all these podcast things. So. Piper's Pit. Yeah. Let us know what you think. And we were talking about it a little bit earlier tonight, but if you let us know uh, on Twitter, hashtag WMS Big Question, um, you will get a copy of Super Indie 13 from last year. That includes like RJ City, Dong Castle's a part of that show, Facade, a friend of the show who we released a video. Oh, did you guys see that we did a video last week of friend of the show Facade visiting Toonzeum for the Ninja Turtles exhibit. Great fun we had down there uh, doing that. But uh, you can check out the Super Indie trailer trailer over on IWC Pro Wrestling, uh, the YouTube channel. What? And uh, that well, yeah, find Riz in the crowd <laughs> exactly. Uh, but uh, so many. I think I'm in the same spot in all of these. Chris Saban in there. Spoiler: He showed up on Ring of Honor this week. Uh, 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 that was awesome. Yeah, some other cool. Ring of Honor representation as well. Uh, some some great talent. So you'll get that free if you respond to us on the WMS Big Question. Now, some people from last week who will be getting a copy of uh, RWA Spring Fling 2015 with that fan strap match we were discussing earlier, <laughs> including Trevor Oz. Oz, Oz, I can't remember how he was on the show a while ago. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Headlocks for Breakfast was his site when we were talking to him. Uh, he says honestly, uh, well, the question for last week was um uh what was it It was it was uh do you want indie wrestlers or just general new talent to be submitting for tough enough uh trevor says honestly all of them if you don't then then you're wasting an opportunity and not taking their career seriously as far as uh those guys go and we we got a, a good bit of discussion actually a little bit going on here let me double check i know we had a few on twitter as well um but uh thank you everybody for joining in there uh, and uh, I don't know. You, have you guys been entertained by the Tough Enough entries so far that have been popping up? I know a lot of friends of the show, Darren De Niro, I, Dylan Bostic, um, uh, so far. Uh, Jimmy Nuts. Nuts has one mm-hmm. that he submitted. His was really good. I'm surprised, uh, first of all, uh, another, I think, yeah, a friend of the show, uh, J-Rock's doing it, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I saw him submit one. Yeah, he submitted one. Uh, but... Uh, I'm I'm surprised that they're letting the people who are going to be disqualified on there. Yeah, they they were showing the uh, the vertical video, right? <laughs> yeah, even Michael Cole was like, "Look, 
this is how you, you're supposed to film it. You're, this is how you're supposed to do it. And, and he's, he's taking the he's taking the photo of uh, JBL's crotch, Michael, and <laughs> it's just the point where it's like, okay, whatever. And then he told us how parking lots work again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, most of these I I do like, uh, but it's just do it horizontal like normal people. I haven't really watched any of them. I don't care to, mm-hmm. for the most part. I I. I trust WWE enough to show me the funniest ones or the most serious ones in their packages. <laughs> Keith Apicary did one. What? Keith Apicary did one. Yeah, he... <laughs> oh, what's a... It's had YouTube Dolph Ziggler in it. Yeah. Oh, I saw a picture of that one. I wanted yeah. to watch that one. Although so I saw good. that uh, Zack Ryder's buggy buddy, the Big O, sent one. Nice. Again? You should. Yeah. Good. <laughs> he was on... Uh... See an Gut anime? check. 